Alright, story time. So, back in 2018, just four years ago, Nightcore released a keychain flashlight called the TUP, or the TUP. I, I'm not actually sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but TUP sounds stupid. So, I thought it was awesome when it came out. Despite its tiny size, this thing pumped out a thousand lumens, had a charging port, my favorite dual button interface, and an OLED screen. Who doesn't love an OLED? Many moons ago, I tried filling out Nightcore's review form in the hopes of receiving one to do a video. Unfortunately, they never responded. Ever. And my dreams of reviewing the TUP slowly drained away like a forgotten battery. Recently, I was contacted by a nice man by the name of Patrick, who apparently wanted to send me some flashlights. Now, Patrick is a businessman who started up a new flashlight retailer based in China, which was very cleverly named Flashlight Brand. I must admit, this didn't exactly scream trustworthiness and legitimacy, but I decided to give it a go and review something for this brand. I was very happy when they offered to fulfill a childhood dream of mine by sending me a Nightcore TUP for review, which is apparently still one of their most popular lights. To be clear, Flashlight Brand did send the light, but I was not otherwise paid for this video. I have no prior experience with them, and while they do seem to have the best of intentions, they may have gotten off to a rough start. They are a retailer based in China, and they offer many popular brands at surprisingly low prices. And they've reached out to and tried to be involved in the community, so I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and recommend their store, as long as it makes sense for you to purchase from them. They have given me a discount code for you to use, so there is that. So, I do wish them the best with their business, but this review will still be unbiased. Now, here's the thing about the TUP, or the TUP. It's a really awesome light. I legitimately like it a lot, but it's quite outdated at this point. Many of you are probably familiar with the T4K, the successor to this light, and honestly, I'm not really sure why I always sent this one instead of that, but whatever, here we are. Here's the basic breakdown. The TUP is really bright, performs well, and has some very cool features. However, it has a non-replaceable battery, poor beam coloration, and is plagued by this ancient liability known as a micro USB port. Altogether, it's decent as an EDC light, but it's not great for enthusiasts, and is not recommended by me. All that said, let's get to the review. A small, rectangulish affair, the Nightcore Tup is supposedly intended for keychain duties, being sleek and having a captive keyring at its base. Frankly, it's way too big for that in my opinion, but it's still a very compact little light that'll easily disappear into a pocket or bag. The light has a lightweight aluminum alloy body, made in two pieces, and assembled with tiny Torx screws. At the head of the light is a Cree XPL HD LED under a pretty large TIR optic. The front of the light is quite distinct, and there are two features which really make this special. A dual button interface and an OLED screen that displays information about the light. The build quality overall is alright, the seam where the two halves of the body meet is a bit rough, and there is no lens covering the optic. It does still seem to be pretty durable. The light features a 1200mAh pouch battery, which unfortunately is built in and non-replaceable basically rendering this a do not buy for many enthusiasts. While I can understand the choice to use integrated batteries in keychain style lights, and while this light does have a unique design that may require such a cell, the fact is that replaceable batteries are a must have in any light that will get serious long term usage, and anything else is simply future e-waste. Worse, the means of charging this battery is a micro USB port on the side under a rubber flap. The choice of micro USB was unfortunate even when it was new, and now renders this light obsolete. So yeah, those design aspects are basically a death blow to this light for many enthusiasts. However, I still think this is a design worth looking at further, as it packs in some pretty cool features that make this a compelling flashlight to use. The biggest and most interesting selling point of the TUP is the OLED screen at the head of the light. This is used to display the current output level, battery voltage, and estimated runtime of the light. It's actually a very useful feature, and I really appreciate seeing it here, as having runtime estimates on a small light like this is super helpful. Below the screen are two E-switches, one for power and another for modes. The user interface of this light is excellent. In fact, this is one of my favorite UIs for its simplicity, but still great capability. The lower button turns the light on or off, while the top button cycles upwards through the modes. While off, pressing and holding the bottom button activates moonlight mode. Turbo is only momentary, and is activated by holding the top button while on or off. A quick tap of the top button while off will cause the screen to display the current memorized mode and the remaining battery life. Interestingly, the TUP has two main operating modes called Daily and Demo. The Demo mode basically only allows the light to run for about 30 seconds before shutting itself off, which I guess allows for greater peace of mind when using this light on a keychain or something. The Demo mode is a pretty nice safety feature. There are also two different lockouts, one which only allows momentary turbo to be used, and another that restricts all modes. 
Unlocking the light requires a quick press and hold. Also, there is a rather strange quirk in this interface, wherein if the lower button is held from off, the screen will eventually start to cycle through all of the different displays, seemingly detached from the operation of the light itself. This doesn't affect anything, but it's kind of odd to see. Despite its small size, the TUP manages to pump out over a thousand lumens on turbo. This maximum level is not really designed for prolonged use, and it drops rapidly, both due to the battery's voltage sag and the active thermal regulation that prevents the light from overheating. All other modes are very well regulated, and run times overall are quite good. In fact, I found that they ran both longer and brighter than Nightcore's claims. The output is very stable throughout the run, before finally dropping down to a very low mode that will continue to run until the battery dies completely. Output levels are well spaced, though I found all of them to be about 80% brighter than Nightcore's listed specs. Turbo itself is pretty ragged, again due to active thermal control and battery voltage sag. The light is really only meant to be used on turbo for short bursts, and it will get hot in about a minute of usage, after which output starts to drop very rapidly as the active thermal control kicks in. Considering the small size of this light, I am still impressed with the thermal performance overall. It doesn't get unreasonably hot and still manages to hold a good amount of light. However, the heat only builds up at the rear portion of the light, which suggests to me that the components aren't properly heat synced. I am a bit concerned that this light isn't properly dissipating its heat, causing the insides to cook away while running on turbo. It's not a major concern, however, as again, turbo isn't intended for prolonged use, and the thermal regulation will step in before things get out of hand. Finally, while I can't actually measure the current draw, Nightcore claims this light has an ultra-low standby current of just one microamp, which is really nice to see. Another neat feature is the ability to run off an external power supply when connected via USB. The TUP is equipped with the TIR Optic and a Cree XPL HD, which provides a nice balanced beam for general use. The hotspot has a maximum intensity of over 9,000 candela on turbo, with 8 candela per lumen. The hotspot is very clean and distinct, while the spill is wide and soft, providing great area illumination. The beam is a bit rough and displays some artifacting in the corona, but it's inoffensive overall. The beam is cool daylight white 5700K and has some noticeable tint shift with a green corona and somewhat magenta tinted spill. Again, it's not very pretty, but it's acceptable in my opinion and certainly gets the job done. For smaller lights like these, I generally prefer more efficient LEDs that offer higher output, less heat and longer run times, as the smaller package limits potential performance overall. That said, it would be nice to have some warmer LED options for this light. Overall, the Nightcore TUP is a solid, high-tech little light. In typical Nightcore fashion, it has an innovative design and excellent interface, with good performance and decent build quality. While it's much too large to serve as a keychain light, it makes for a very nice, super small flashlight for backup or EDC usage. For all its flaws, I actually rather enjoy using it, and I'm quite happy to finally own one. All that said, yes, the TUP is outdated. The LED is good, but there are certainly options with higher output and better beams. On top of that, the micro USB port is decidedly dated and is itself a big drawback to this light. By far the worst aspect though is the non-removable battery. For this reason alone, I cannot recommend the TUP. Not being built around an easily replaceable battery and requiring a completely outdated and inferior charging solution simply renders this light obsolete. If you still really like this design, get the T4K. That light is newer and just better, has superior performance, and a USB-C port. It too features an integrated battery, but at least it's the better version of this design. Still, if you want this light, it costs $64 at most retailers. That's a pretty hefty price tag in my opinion. A bit too high, but I guess there isn't really any competition, as this is a pretty unique form factor and design overall. The good news is that Patrick from Flashlight Brand has given me a discount code that you can apply to save a bit of money, so that's cool. Definitely take advantage of that if you can. And that's the end of this video. I'd like to thank Patrick for sending me this light. I really appreciate it, and for his patience. This review took me a while to put together. The light was sent free of charge, but I was not paid for this review, and I do not make any money if you decide to use the discount code. It was a bit of a strange video to be honest, as I find this light a little too outdated to recommend, but apparently they're still quite popular. Personally, I do still really enjoy it, and I'm happy I had the opportunity to finally review it. so yeah, there's that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.